Hello, I want to start by thanking Bill Allison and his whole CTO team for this partnership, this Berkeley Changemaker Technology Innovation Grants. I am Rich Lyons, the Chief Innovation and Entrepreneurship Officer on campus, and the CTO office, this is their initiative, and it's a wonderful one. I know a lot of us who are part of this event have benefited greatly from it, and I've seen some of your videos, which are great. Uh, I wanted to talk a little bit about the front end of that phrase, the Berkeley Changemaker part, and that's where the partnership with my office is coming in. I work very closely with Laura Hasner, and we have been part of a larger team that has been working on a Berkeley Changemaker effort. So just a couple of quick comments so you have, you have that frame right up front. And then what I'll do is I'm also going to provide one minute of advice from one of our faculty members that fits into a course called the Berkeley Changemaker. Maybe I'll start with that course. So the course was taught this summer for the first time. It was called the Berkeley Changemaker and we pitched it at incoming freshmen. So this is just before they started, right, late in the summer. We weren't quite sure how many would sign up. We got over 500 incoming freshmen to sign up for this course called the Berkeley Changemaker. And we, we had faculty participation galore. It was actually built on a course uh, a faculty member in the business school, Alex Budek, had originally started a kind of pilot course, if you will, a couple of years ago. And we augmented that content with uh, content from Carol Christ, from Janet Yellen, from Lisa Wymore in theater, dance, and performing arts, with uh, Glinda Hull, with uh, Oliver O'Reilly, the chair of the faculty senate. Anyways, there's a whole list of about 15 different faculty names of people that said, no, I want to be part of that because it, it was that exciting. So in any event, um, the course went, obviously, well, certainly demand was high. It went very, very well. The students were talking about how transformative it was for them. And, and there's, there's an important inclusion theme. Um, if this course had been called you know, entrepreneurship, for example, uh, it might have been, judging from past course demands, 60% uh, men and 40% women. This, this course had 62% women participation from groups across our whole university, and we think it can be even more inclusive. So there is something in this concept, this narrative of Berkeley Changemaker that makes people feel like they're part of it, whereas some of the other more traditional words, somewhat less so. Uh, it's got a lot of critical thinking in it, a lot of communication, a lot of uh, collaboration, team, team skills. I won't go through all the content of the course, but it is really a neat course. And as I said, Bob, the, the actual snippet is about a minute long, and it's Bob Jacobson, uh, our Dean for Undergraduate Studies, who, who is focusing on what advice would you give to our incoming students, our incoming freshmen uh, and transfer students. And, and it's, just a, it's just a lovely minute. It's, it's one minute out of a whole course worth of content, but I thought it would be helpful for you to see some of what, what he's up to. Um, so we're building out a set of connector courses. You know, what is the follow-on course that these students can take? Will these follow-on courses na knock out uh, graduation requirements? I mean, that's ultimately an important thing to do to get even more students involved in this. And, and ultimately it could, could lead to something like a C school, a change school. Now, if, if Berkeley isn't about change making, I don't know what it is about. In fact, it's precisely the distinctiveness in those two words together that has allowed us to trademark that phrase, Berkeley Changemaker. So it's a theme that's taking on great energy. And we, going back to the relationship, the partnership with the CTO office, Bill, Bill and our team early on were discussing what, what could we partner on together and we're just super happy to be part of this uh, technology innovation grant program and to be partnering on it. I just thought it would be helpful for you to have a little bit of a sense for Berkeley Changemaker, right? I, I'll give you one example, and I mean no disrespect, but uh, Harvard University is, of course, a very, very terrific university, a very creative university. If you thought about the phrase Harvard Changemaker, does it, does it work? Does it resonate? So this is, this is really an identity that Berkeley has been about for a long time. So uh, it's, it's values-based, question the status quo, beyond yourself, a lot of the other things that are distinctive about Berkeley's values uh, are part of what are carrying this narrative. I'm gonna stop there. Uh, you, you have, uh, get a lot out of this session today. Uh, we will run the tape on one minute of Bob Jacobson. You know, what advice would you give to our incoming freshmen? Thanks. What best advice would you give to our aspiring Berkeley changemakers, Bob? You're starting off on a long and spectacular career, a long, spectacular life. But don't forget that part of the job is to change you. 
part of the job is to turn yourself into who you want to be, not necessarily who you are. The, you may want to change the world, you may want to change business, you may want to change technology, and that's great. But you don't get to say, I'm going to do it with the skills and the f contacts and the friends and the abilities, the memories, the stories that I have now. I have to build all of those. So this is the start of the time when you're building the person that's going to go out and make the changes that you want to see. And you have to balance both of those. You got to keep working on yourself to be the person you want to be able to do the things you want.